Hello, hot friends, chai chat. I have a new fun mug. Um, Got to read it to you. <laughs> what does this say? In, in my defense, the moon was full and I was left unsupervised. So cheers to that. That, that happens often. Not as often as it used to. So the topic I want to bring up today is this absolutely um, false narrative, false imagery, and false perception that healthy equals being skinny, or that skinny equals healthy. Another way of saying that is I want to just completely bust through these same images and <clears throat> exp um, uh, beliefs that fat equals unhealthy or that unhealthy equals fat. Okay. I'm here to be, to say, I have, I have never liked <laughs> these images or these ideas, but I understand why we have them. So right when I got out of college, um, from my master's program in acupuncture and Chinese medicine, People came to my clinic and uh, people from the yoga studio would come up to me and say, can you help me lose weight? And being a new practitioner, wanting new clients, um, I said, let's see, right? I didn't want to guarantee anything, but let's, let's see. And what I realized very quickly on after about three or four clients and patients like that is I hated it. I hated it so much because my perspective of what healthy entails is very different from their definition. And what I found, at least in those three or four clients or those patients, was that their definition of healthy meant they needed to be skinny. And no matter how much I tried to break that down and let them know that that was a false narrative um, and that we don't know what healthy is for them until we define that from a holistic perspective, um, that we're not going to get anywhere working together. So this is what I want to really kind of mm, um, help shift the perspective and paradigm that healthy equals skinny or that. Um, unhealthy equals fat. I, I just want, I, uh, that makes me so angry. And this is why the definition of health that just makes so much sense to me. And I'd, I'd like to share it with you to see how it sits with you is the Ayurveda um, definition, which come the Sanskrit term is swasta. Okay. Swasta to be established in self is how, or self-established, is how that translates. I want you to just think about that. The definition of health means to be established in self. Ooh, that is very different than um, a BMI or a certain look or a, a weight, <laughs> okay? Established in self gives you this whole sense of being in my body physically. And it also includes a mental, emotional state of being in my body, being present in my body. And it doesn't say it specifically, but because of its um, holistic paradigm of health and, and, and well-being, it's in intertwined is this idea of a some form of your version of spiritual connection okay so it's a holistic uh, body mind spirit definition of health and it does get more detailed like there are actually measurable um ways we can look at the physical mental emotional spiritual self to to define what it means to be uh, established in self we can talk about balance dosha. We can talk about uh, balance agni or digestive fire. We can talk about healthy tissues at all layers, not just your skin, but all the different layers of the tissue, uh, fat, uh, plasma, your blood, your, uh, your muscle layer, your bone health, your inner bone health, bone marrow, your reproductive, your fertility, your virility, um, your nervous system, all of these layers of self are important, right? That they interact and they talk to each other and they communicate with each other. 
Okay. Uh, the, the definition of health uh, measurably can also look at your state of health and well being, right? Your mental state, your emotional state. And this doesn't mean that you're always happy. Nowhere in the definition does it say you're always going to be happy. The definition when we're looking at mental emotional is a, a sense of contentment even in the highs and lows. So the mind and the emotions are meant to go up and down, right? But it's when we get attached and we get stuck in certain highs or lows or this, this vacillation and nowhere in that can we understand that this too shall change and there's a lack of contentment that is a, a tall tale sign for us to continue working at the mind, mental, the subtle layers of the human experience towards health. And then there's some form of um, spiritual connection. And again, I'm not going to define that for you. It's whether you believe in God or not is not the question here. It's this, it, only you can answer this for yourself, is this connection, is this connection to a greater something. Okay, however you want to define that. Maybe it's Mother Earth. Maybe it's um, this deep inner knowing of spirit, right? That's, that's also part of, of how we measure this, uh, this idea of established in self. So notice, nowhere in those definitions does it say your body has to be a certain size. It has to look a certain way. It needs to do, you know, none of that. It has to have a certain number of limbs or not right? None of that. If you are established in self, you are among the blessed who has taken that journey and path to understand what that means for you. And despite your weight or your size or how people see you on the outside, only you know if you are established in self, right? Because let me throw another example at you. There are a lot of people out there in the world, this was including me, who on the outside can make it look like they are established in self, right? And they, people think, they look at you and they're like, oh, whatever she's doing, what is she doing? I want that. Guess what? You have no idea what's going on inside here. And it's sometimes bananas crazy and you don't want to be <laughs> inside here. So health and wellness is a very, very personal journey. And hopefully you find a team of people who can be really honest and real with you to ask you some of those hard questions we sometimes don't want to sit and ask ourselves. Um, to me, that was so important in understanding who I was as a person and finding in, in my own you know, journey of healing. I'm still on it, but I can share 100% with you that being established in self goes far beyond what you look like. I really, really want to drive that in. Established in self is so much deeper than the, the number on the scale, okay? Now I understand those are motivating factors for some people to understand what it means to be established in self, right? That I'll somehow be happier when I fit a size, whatever pair of pants or dress, or I'll somehow feel more established in myself when my weight is a certain number. I can also share with you that I have met a ton of people throughout my years as a teacher and a clinician that they hit those numbers or they hit that size. And it feels so darn good for about a week. Because what ends up happening and what comes to the surface is after you, that you reach that goal, mm, there's something else there that brings up that unsatisfaction, that same desire to reach a certain dress size or a certain um, number on the scale no longer was the end. There was something else there that is bringing up the sense of non-satisfaction, a non-contentment of self. So I just want to share with that, share that with you. I'm sure I'll get a lot of people not agreeing with me and absolutely bring it. Um, again, this is just one person's opinion. Uh, and I just hope that I'm sharing this as a way of um, actually opening our perspective of health and wellness, of kind of breaking down some of the, the 
mm, the ideas and images that have been ingrained in our brains for so long. And in this, hopefully creating some space for something new, for something fresh, for, for something um, meaningful. So uh, feel free to share your comments. I look forward to hearing from you. And until next time, from my heart to yours.